Hello, my legion. Uh, I thought I'd do a small review on this. Chunky chilies. I mean, yeah, Chunky's chili with beans. This is Firehouse Hot and Spicy Beef and Bean Chili. So I already went ahead and put in a, took it out and put it in a bowl with, uh, added two things of Wendy's chili sauce. I have uh, rye bread with butter on it. You know, I have my thing of orange juice. I see in a Sierra Mist. So uh, I also added garlic powder and also black pepper. Now I ran out, my pepper grind ran out, so this is a black pepper I bought always. This was only 69 cents, so that's not too bad. So let's uh, try this chili out. Wait a minute. Let's see if it's any good. Mm. That's really good. It's a very simple meal. Um, it's only like a dollar fifty, and um, for the can, it's not bad. I bought one for me, one for my dad. I don't know if my dad will like it, but he might. The one thing they keep saying hot spicy is not that spicy, unless you're not uh, accustomed to spicy food. That's why I added a little bit of stuff to it. Mm. But it's really good, though. It's good chili. Let me have a little piece of bread. I went ahead and toasted it. In Brookside, remarkable tastes come to <coughs> Rich dark chocolate. I love rye bread with the butter and stuff like that. It's really good. So I'm really close to the food. Right now I'm watching Price is Right. I like what Rain, Wayne Brady's done to the show. And I'm on my vacation. And uh, I filmed this during the commercial break. They had a woman on, she was doing Gold Rush, and uh, she was going for a car, right? And she went right up to $2,000, and she still had, like, two more levels ago of money. But if you get, like, a dynamite or a zonk, you go back down, and then, depending on how many turns, you might not have enough money to get the car. So at $2,000, she decided to stop. And thankfully... She did, because the next one she pulled was dynamite. So she got two thousand dollars. She didn't want a car, but she got two thousand dollars, which is pretty cool. And also, since I'm uh, since I'm re uh, reviewing this, I thought I might as well. well let me try another bite. Mm. Well, it's very good. I, I recommend uh, Chungi's Chili Firehouse Pond Spicy. Also. For fans of bad cinema, I can remember I got this from the Dollar Theater. I mean, not Dollar Theater, the Dollar Store. That one that went out of business. It's a double feature of uh, Shaolin vs. Ninja. That's <laughs> picture. And Shaolin Chastity Chong Kung Fu. And these are both very silly. you notice they have a sign that these are always a dollar. This, all the M's right there says. Media movie is and more, and it's this plaza. And the one wild thing is that the Albion Pharmacy they're trying to sell these dollar ones for $3.99, and they ain't selling. I mean, if they were a dollar, there were a couple really cool ones I'd get, but I'm not paying $3.99 for dollar things. And if you open it up, let me switch this around. It has a very unusual looking disc. Oh. But if you look right there, it says Made in Canada for uh, Cat W Magic, Made in Canada. Ooh, look at that cool little, uh, well, that looks cool. And that's on the Happy Axe. That's a really cool looking special effect, dude. Oh, that's cool. Also, like I said, these aren't bad. These are silly. If you like silly movies like I do, you should like that. And also, this is an old television show right here. Uh... Ralph Bellamy, Fall That Man. But uh, that's the original name of the show, but you might see videos of it called Man Against Crime. And I don't know why they decided to add a bogus title. You know? But it's supposed to be called, uh, see, Fall That Man, a.k.a. Man Against Crime. But Fall That Man is a pretty good show. I got two uh, DVDs of it. And uh, one from Dig of, Di I always call it Dig of View. It's Digiview. 
uh, for three episodes, that was a dollar, and then this is was a dollar too, and it has four episodes on it. But this is a really good show with Ralph Bellamy called "To Follow That Man." And then, if anyone remembers uh, Ralph Bellamy, when I was in uh, Fort Detrick, uh, not Fort Detrick, Fort Gordon, they had movies at the uh, theater, and he was in that fat, the movie by a rap group called the Fat Boys called the Disorderlies. Yeah, I saw that one. It's real silly, but. He was in that one. So, like in retrospect, uh, just like I said, uh, see I got the uh, but I used the uh, Meadowbrook orange juice, the uh, Diet Decaf from Swiss. That's a good brand too. Diet Sierra Mist. I didn't open it up yet. I might as well open it up and have some. God damn it. Oh, that's good. Like I said, have no sip of the, tr try of this. Uh, see how close I can get to it. Yeah. Mm. Like I said, this stuff is really good. Yes. Chungi, well, chili ha uh, Chungi has their own chili line. And this is the Firehouse brand, hot and spicy. No, it's not that hot and spicy. You have to add stuff to it. But it's really good. Everything good, the toast is good, the Sierra Mist is good, the ice, everything's good. So, uh, until next time, take care, my legion. Yeah, also, something I forgot to say, uh, you know, I uploaded my uh, very first YouTube video that Old Fashioned Days, and I mentioned it on... Uh, Uh, description but like I said uh, the, I thought they sold out of those this one company the Bethel it's a Presbyterian uh, church and I thought they were doing all uh, they were selling hot dogs and chili dogs and and their sloppy joes and stuff like that and I've been ordering them I don't know how long and uh, apparently old fashioned days over the couple of years have been getting in trouble with the health department they want them all the people that serve food, they, they're they all non-profit, you know, they're just trying to raise money for their church and stuff, non-profit. And uh, in the health department, there's this one lady that's there that's kind of a hard ass that just graduated from uh, college. She looks like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Well, for the last couple of years, she was saying that everybody has who sells food there has to buy a $20 uh, license for that one day. And they're all non-profits, and that cuts into whatever profits they make. There's not a ton of people to go there. And there used to be like three or four food stands there. And uh, what happened was the Albion Borough decided to uh, pay for all the pay for all the licenses because they said it's cheaper for them, and that they get bringing more money. Well, more money for non-profits for old-fashioned day. So they decided to do that. And then when I thought they sold out of the Sloppy Joes. I found out like a week later that the lady said they couldn't serve them because they weren't made on the premises. Because they have a crock pot to heat up. Now they cooked the hot dogs in like a crock pot right on the property. So they were allowed to sell them, but they weren't allowed to sell Sloppy Joes. Needless to say, they weren't here there the next year. And I always liked getting their Sloppy Joes. They were awesome. They were only a dollar. And uh, you can put like onions on them and stuff like that. And they were awesome. And it's a real shame they did that, because uh, they had other people, they had people who were selling walking tacos there. That was my first introduction. She just put in a styrofoam cup and put all the taco meat and stuff like that in there. And that was a real shame they didn't do that anymore. And they had a lemonade stand there and they don't have it no more because they were just giving too many problems. And last year, thankfully, they had a food truck and there had been no food served there. So I just wanted to make sure to mention that. Yeah, it's just a shame that happens. So, let's make a deal with back, so. Till next time, take care of my legion.